Shall I dare go live using Hangouts? Probably not, but I'm going to anyways. It's probably going to crash. If it crashes, just look for the part two to this. Um, live control room. I'm just going to bring up the chat so I can see what everyone has to say. How have things been going, guys? I know it's been a while since I've been doing a live show. Um, Swamp Picker, hey, how's it going? But it, hey, Evan, how's it going? It's going good. I, uh, I've already been out today. We're supposed to get tons of freezing rain and snow and regular rain. So I just jumped in the car and took care of everything I had to do as fast as I could do it. I don't want to get caught up in any of that stuff. So, uh, yeah. So I thought I would come on and say hi to everyone. It's been a while since I've done a live vlog. So I thought I would come on and say hi to everyone. Uh, hi, buddy. How's it going? Claudette, Swamp Picker. Yeah. So what's everyone been up to? Um, I, I had plans to hit five or six thrift shops today. I ended up only hitting two because I spent like probably $200, $250 in two shops. So I called it quits after that. The 70s here today. Well, that's nice. You got the 70s. We are sitting at minus four, and it's actually not that cold out. Minus four is not bad. I don't mind minus four. Um, it's when we get into like the minus 30s at work now. Work, nice. Uh, I stopped by the flea market today. I stopped by to say hi to all the people working. And uh, they are, I don't know. The flea market is always kind of a nice, relaxed environment. Lots of fun. Um, but yeah, so I picked up a lot of stuff today, guys. Uh, I brought down one bag to show you some stuff. I know you guys like to see the live hauls. What else? More snow here in Minnesota. Yes, Minnesota. You get the Canadian-type weather there, too. You're kind of right on the snow belt, aren't you? Um, yeah, so you probably get the same weather Barry in Ontario get, which is not a lot of fun. There's been a lot of footage on TV lately, a lot of, like, massive car piles. and Not good, but uh, so anyways, I'm in the beauty of reselling and working for yourself. If you don't need to go out tomorrow, which I don't, um, I don't have to. So... <laughs> So it can rain, snow, whatever. If I lose power, then yeah, that's not going to be helpful. But I don't have to go out. That's the main thing. If you work a nine to five, you have to go out. And that sucks. And I've done the nine to five for many, many years. I've worked at a lot of places. And uh, I've been there having to go out in the bad weather. But tomorrow, I'm just probably going to stay in. I picked up a load of stuff uh, from the flea market. Um, a lot of uh, well a few items for ebay uh a local auction as well so i have lots to do for my buddy plus for myself picked up a lot today <laughs> well a lot for me a lot a lot for us we're not these people who buy shipments by the transport full you know um a lot for us five or six bags full of stuff is a lot for us so i have a generator you can't live in northern ontario without one yes Yes, we do not have a generator, and we have an oil furnace, and it has been ridiculous this year. Um, we it, It's about $700 for one fill-up um, for our oil furnace, and we've had to fill it four times, maybe five. Yes, love just staying in and listening. Miss Cool Finds, hey, how's it going? Yeah, just... Stay home and listening. Yeah, you got to get out to get the stuff. But once you have it, you know, uh, it was last week and we were snowed in. The kids had more snow days, so they were playing their video games. And uh, I couldn't get out because of the weather. So I just went to our 80 box pile um, of eBay items. A lot of it isn't listed now or has been listed and has expired and it's just never been renewed. Uh, so I, I literally picked out two boxes and posted, I don't know, maybe 20 items and, uh, pretty much all 20 of those items have sold within the first 
eight hours, I would say half of the stuff sold right away. Um, I have this little guy, if you guys are on our Instagram, he was in one of the boxes. It's a Swarovski crystal. Um, it's a little painter. He has a name. I forget what his name is. Did a bunch of sourcing today. Yes. Uh, yeah, you didn't. So did I. That's awesome. Uh, you need to get out there and you need to get the stuff. Without the stuff, we're nothing. Well, it sucks big time. I heat with wood a lot of the time and the cheapest source of heat for us. Yeah, wood. We used to have a wood stove uh, when I lived with my parents when I was younger. It was awesome. We had a fireplace upstairs and a wood stove in the basement. And um, I don't know if uh, probably a lot of people haven't heard of it, but we had a giant ice storm back in the 90s. I think it was around 97. And uh, we lost power for about a week. So it was just a matter of eating things out of the freezer, uh, campfires, melting snow. It was like pioneer days. It really was. Um, it was a lot of fun. And you would just hear the freezing rain bouncing off the windows. Everything was frozen. Look it up. Uh, the ice storm of uh, Ontario in the 90s. I'd say about 97. Check it out. It, uh, it was something. And we didn't have power for seven days. So that's why I kind of always keep that in the back of my mind to always have canned goods can goods in the winter because you don't know when you're going to uh, be trapped inside. We should have a portable heater too. I used to have a kerosene heater, a great big one, and it would heat the entire house. Uh, and I had lots of extra kerosene as well on hand, but I don't have that anymore. I do not have that. So now it's just going to be blankets and... I don't know. But up north, it was more like two weeks. Yeah, I bet the further north you get, probably the worse off you were. Uh, harder for um, the trucks to get into the locations. Yeah, we were out for seven days, and uh, it seemed like a lot, uh, but there were definitely people who had it worse than us, such as Claudette. <laughs> two weeks. So, uh, yes, thank you. Yes, give the video a like for sure. Thank you. Um, subscribe. I think everyone here is already subscribed watching right now. Um, yeah, we put out a new vlog, so you'll see Crystal standing in front of a snowbank. That was just, we were just driving by. We were getting boxes, and uh, we saw a snowbank, and I thought, that'd be kind of cool. Let's just stick you in front of a snowbank and, uh, and get some video of you standing there, so... That's a little snowbank. That's behind one of our um, like strip malls. If you go to the like the big mall, it's really piled up there. But yeah, so I can show you guys a few things I picked up today. Show you guys a few things what I got. But yes, the Sarosky bear. I have it on Instagram. I had a I have a contest going where it was uh, guess where it's going to end, and uh, a lot of people have been guessing. And I can give you a live update. You know, it probably ends very soon. Two hours, two and a half hours. It's at $89.15. I guessed around 150 Now, this has been in a box now for probably two or three years. Again, I just went through the boxes when I couldn't get out. I have a whole value village in my basement. So I just pulled out some stuff and away I went. Our banks on the sides of the roads are like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, we get up to Algonquin Park a couple times a year. Never been up there in the winter, but I would love to get up there in the winter. Go check out all the snow banks and stuff. Again, guys, if Hangouts crashes, I'll just make a part two to this video. It always crashes for me. I don't know why. I wrote Wade the other day. Uh, we still talk. And he said he's never heard of it. So I don't know why ours crashes. I updated it and it still crashes so i don't know um before this video i actually went live just the camera it didn't send an alert i talked for 10 minutes no one came in i turned it off i deleted the video started this and everyone got their alert so i don't know youtube's a funny place well i guess i'll start showing you a few things this we have been selling a lot it's beautiful but it sucks yes yeah, I want to see the northern lights a little closer, too. We can kind of see them from where we are a little bit at, like, 2 or 3 in the morning. But I don't want to stay up that late. I want to see them, you know, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I don't want to stay up till 3. <laughs> so I don't know if you get to see them up there or not. But these casts, 
These are awesome. I sold one the other day, uh, a local sale, believe it or not. And I got $60 for it. I paid $5.99. I got $60 for it. I did have it for $150, but the person, they just really needed help. You know, they they couldn't afford the price that I had on it. So again, I'll help somebody out. So like 60 bucks, I well under half price. Uh, sorry, over. It's a beautiful little sex, yes. Yeah, uh, just to help them out, you know. But uh, yeah, so here's another one. I picked it up. It cost me $15, but these things on Amazon, we've sold two of them now for around 150 to 200 And then I had the local one as well. Yes, they're very expensive to buy new. That's right. So when you see them, pick them up. I've picked up the air casts before, which are like boots. And I've sold them, but they didn't go as fast and they didn't go for as much. So these like RoboCop looking ones, they like bend and stuff. These are the ones you kind of want to look for. So I picked up that. That was a good find. Oh, I was at the thrift store today and the guy was in his office and I heard him like, if I have a good, uh, have to go. Okay, thanks for stopping by Swamp Picker. We'll catch you soon. Um, the guy was in his office and I could hear like canned air blowing and uh, he came out and he had a Star Wars, like an original Star Wars carrying case with a bunch of figures in it and they were going to auction it off at the store and uh, yeah, that would have been nice if they just put it out, but they're going to auction it off. I don't know what it'll go for, but that would have been really, really good if I could have just picked that up off the floor. Buzzword. Let's pull out my Amazon scanner. I have somebody writing me on Etsy and they want a Walkman, but they want it fast because they've left their shopping to the last minute and their boyfriend now wants this Walkman and they need it to go to the States from Canada in like a day. So, I mean, I have no idea. So I have to look into that. It'll be shipped tomorrow if the weather is good. So I can't, I'm not going to promise anything. Um, they can buy from someone else who can get it to them faster. Some cases, there's just nothing you can do. And I don't want to promise anybody, you know, something for a birthday or something and not come through. So I would almost just rather let that sale slide. We'll see what happens. I'll give them a quote and see what they say. I'll do that after this video. Um, this is Buzzword. Goes for $28 with 128,000 count for three bucks. So that was good. Uh, let's see if I have any non-board game stuff. I don't know what this is. Wine party includes a great party, uh, wraps and stuff like that for all your bottles and stuff like that. So it's not really, it's not a uh, game. It looks like a game, but it's not. It's scanning the store. There we go. It goes for thirty dollars with a two hundred and forty-four thousand count. So you would just, I don't know, wine bottle covers and stuff like that, as long as it's complete. This was a good one. I saw this. Actually, I looked at the games, walked around the rest of the store, and then the lineup was so big, I ended up going back to the games just to take a look at it, uh, just to see if they put out any new games. And this was sitting there. Word Thief. Uh, Word Thief, I paid $3.99 for, and it's $95 on Amazon with 153,000 count. And as you can see with the light shining off it, it's brand new in the sealed pack, never open. Purelator does overnight, but it's cost costs more than cannibals. Yes, that's right. Uh, I find <laughs> a lot of people in Europe, they'll do a buy it now from us on eBay. And then when I send them the price of just regular airmail, nothing special, just regular airmail, they'll cancel the order. Um, so if I send them the price up here later, they'll probably pass on it, but it is definitely an option to, uh, to do pure later. But again, if they, if they want to spend 40 on the Walkman and it's like 60 to 80 for shipping overnight, they'll probably walk, but we'll see what happens. I'll give them a few options. So, uh, and again, if it's freezing rain, I'm not going out tomorrow. Like I, I won't be able to go out tomorrow. So. Like they have been, from our last snowfall, they have been clearing the sidewalks from in front of our house now for probably six days. They have tractors and blowers and 
they have a dump truck come and it this machine blows all the snow from the sidewalk into the truck and then the, that dump truck takes off and then the next dump truck pulls up and then it blows it and fills that truck and they're just going down the road they're still working on it so if we get crazy weather like that tonight i'm not going anywhere tomorrow so again i'd hate to promise pure later and then not go it at all why won't this thing scan i guess i can open it out of the bag now because i'm not at the store does anyone else do that when you're at value village and you can't scan the barcode you kind of rip the bag a little sometimes i'm just asking for a friend i i don't know we would never do something like that why won't you scan I don't know. I can if I can remember right. This is a piece of connects for Xbox, and it was going for ninety nine dollars. I paid six dollars for it. I have no idea why it won't scan right now, but there was only one on there. So we will probably ask around thirty or forty dollars for it. I don't know. It won't scan. It's just a piece for Xbox Connect. I actually have two connects. I don't have an Xbox. Well, the kids have two Xboxes. But we have two connects for our ghost hunting. You can actually use connects and it will actually find stick figure ghosts. It's kind of cool. It's really cool. You'll just set it up in a room. I know this is a little off topic. Set it up in a haunted room or whatever and eventually you'll see somebody walk in and watch ghost adventures they'll show you maybe that'll be our next channel our next channel will be ghost hunting what do you think of that this i probably got weird looks at it's a eyelash extension thing oh it's a eyelash perming kit eyelash perming kit uh ghosts for forty dollars on amazon brand new sealed in the pack i don't think i need to perm my eyelashes maybe i do maybe i do but i'm gonna try to sell for 40 bucks books every day i go to the store i try to scan books and i have not had any luck at all lately love ghost hunting nice i am a big ghost hunter we that's another thing I actually want to talk to you right now about, guys, is you're killing yourself right now by sitting on your computer. Anyways, this is $62.86 with an 800,000 count. Really low. We're going to make money. I'm going to talk to you right now about killing yourselves while you're reselling, okay? Get this. Okay, now I have to find them. I have, so for ghost hunting... If you guys know about ghost hunting, these are EMF meters. I have three of them. We all take one. EMF meters detect how much electromagnetic force is around you. The more there is, the more it can make you dizzy. The more it can make you feel pukey, not feel right. Um, it actually can result in cancer if you have a lot of time exposed to EMF rays, okay? So the other day, I found my EMF meters in a box, and I was all excited. So I went to turn them on just to see if the batteries were working. This one was dead. These two had power in it. And when I turned it on, okay, let me turn the one on with uh, the volume. Okay, so I turned it on, and it's blinking. This is me sitting at my desk by the keyboard, by the mouse. And then when I turn this light on, it gets even worse. Like, listen, to the, right there. I know you can't see that, but you can hear it. It's actually showing a lot of EMF right there. And that's coming off my keyboard. That's from the keyboard. Monitor, same thing. So I said to Crystal, when I'm in my office and I'm working, sometimes I feel like I got to get up and have a break. I thought it was lighting, but now I'm starting to wonder if there's a, like a lot of EMF. But the further back I go, the better it is. So that's kind of the key, I think, right now. Sit further back because, but I mean, even the keyboard, that's the optical mouse is making this thing go off. 
So just something I wanted to, I actually was going to put that in our last vlog, but I wasn't really in my office when we were doing any filming. So let me turn this light off. So what do you think of that? EMF blasting us while we're working. My cell phone doesn't give off any, but the computer, the keyboard, the mouse, the light, the monitors, the webcam, everything else, it lights the EMF meter right up. If you want to check your EMF, just go on eBay, type in EMF meter. I think they cost me $30, $40 a piece. I forget what it was. I have had them for so long now. And uh, yeah, you can just walk around your house and you can see what your EMF is. The lower, the better. And sitting here, wow, that, that was crazy when I turned it on. I'm like, this thing must be broken. And no, I'm just getting zapped. So a little little uh, uh information for you guys there back to the reselling and uh yes hangouts has not crashed yet so that's a that's a bonus uh the book yes the book was good let me show you guys a few things let me show you guys a few things i like to show you guys things that um you know, other resellers aren't showing you. It's not jeans and it's not books. This is a hand painted native wood box. This was three dollars. Uh, yeah, two ninety nine, three bucks. This native stuff was really good, guys. This I'll make, I think, pretty good money on. They pick up electric fields. The idea is to read with that electrical source around. Um, you got any BMX stuff for sale? No, I don't have any BMX stuff for sale. Uh, what kind of BMX stuff do you buy? Or were you looking for uh, like pegs or things like that? We come across all different sorts of stuff. So I, uh, tomorrow I could go out and I could find BMX stuff. And the next day I might not find any for a month. But uh, definitely resellers are out there every day like me like everyone in the chat and uh they might have some so check out ebay don't just go to your local like bmx store check out ebay because if we find it we don't have a connection to it we just know what we paid and we know what we need to just unload it we need to just get rid of it so um go on ebay check it out and uh whatever you're looking for check it out on ebay and look at the best offers and uh so you look for there's auctions there's buy it nows then there's buy it nows with best offers so if i pick something up for three dollars and it sells for 50 send me an offer for like 25 bucks i will sell it for 25 bucks even if it's worth 60 bucks because i only paid four bucks for it so i'll unload it so go on ebay shoot them best offers and uh you'll get some good stuff at a really good price because a lot of resellers just want to get rid of the stuff um i don't know i won't show you guys too much more here i've had this before kinder perfect kinder in german kinder is kid so i don't know something to do with that it's a party game for parents let's take a look this barcode is so tiny goes for 30 bucks with a 4,000 count that's like really low Oh, I'll show you guys something really cool. I'm running out of desk space. Have you, has anyone seen this before? If you have, put it in the comments. This is a, crap, too much light. Heinz 57, so I'll, you can kind of see, but that's the same shape as the logo for your Heinz 57, but it's a baby rattle. Heinz 57 baby rattle. This would have been a promotional uh, premium item, uh, probably from the, uh, I'd say 50s with the coloring, 50s, 60s, and around there, early 60s. That's kind of neat. Um, I'll show you one more thing. Just one more thing. This Japanese book, it's kind of like an anime thing. And uh, I paid... $5.99 for it and it scans in at $45.53 and it's in great condition So there you go found some books. I have been waiting to find books and uh, finally found some books. It's been a while 
Crystal does not like thrifting books at all. When we go in, she'll scan like two, maybe three, and then she's out. So books are more when I'm by myself. Um, so yeah, I was able to find, I probably have another three down here. So, well, with that being said, guys, anything else going on? Any questions? How are sales? Uh, eBay for us has been awesome lately. eBay has been really good. Um, like I said, like 500 bucks in two days just from junk I have in the basement. Uh, Instagram. Did anyone see this guy on Instagram? He's a, uh, a bottle opener, corkscrew opener. <laughs> he looks like Baba Booey from Howard Stern. If we have any Howard Stern fans out there, this is looks like Baba Booey. I have it on eBay, have a few watchers on it, hasn't sold yet. So what I'm going to do is put it in a local auction. All right, well, I guess no one has anything else. So I'm probably gonna take off. Stay safe out there, Bad Bill still in the house. Um, yes, it looks like Baba Booey, it really does. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go watch my Swarovski Crystal end. I'm probably $3 into that from a local auction and uh, it's up around, like I said, 90 bucks and around there. So I'm thinking it's gonna end at 150. I'll, uh, I'll maybe put an update on Instagram for everyone so you can see what it ended at, all right? So have a good day, guys. Stay safe. Stay dry. Don't slip and fall. It's going to be messy out there tonight. So have a good night. And uh, what's your eBay seller ID? Uh, Langwa1. So uh, L-A-N-G-L-O-I-S-1, the number one. And uh, that would be my seller ID. Go check our stuff out. Uh, again, best offers. I... You know, we pick the stuff up for not a lot of money. So I, you know, you put a big price on it. And if somebody doesn't buy it now, that's great. And, uh, but we're always taking offers. Always, always, always. You can't just wait for uh, somebody to pay full pop on it. Buy all. All right, Claudette, we'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, I'm going to take off. So, Bad Bill, thanks for coming in. And Buddy and Miss Cool Finds, Swamp Picker, everyone else I'm missing. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, hopefully we'll do a vlog soon. If not, maybe another live show. Let us know in the comments if you want to see another live show. I did stop doing them for a while, but maybe I'll do them again if everyone wants to see them. All right. Have a good night, guys.